everybody. It's Gloria with Potentially Chic. I'm here in Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, today I was just going to share a few little tips on painting kitchen cabinets. We are working on a kitchen right now. As you can see, I have all my cabinets laid out here, all the doors on our big work table to paint. Uh, we do not spray our cabinets, we hand brush. And I, today I'm using uh, General Finishes linen milk paint to paint these cabinets. Um, hi, how are y'all? Um, so I just want to share a few tips uh, that we use, some tools that we found that have worked really well for us. Uh, again, if you're just joining, I'm Gloria from Potentially Chic here in Roanoke, Virginia, and we're working on some kitchen cabinets. Uh, and I just want to share a few tips and a few tools that we use that really help us out. Um, I'm going to turn the camera back around so you can see. Okay, uh, the best tool that we found for painting kitchen cabinets, since we do hand brush them, are these painter's pyramids. As you can see here, we have a new package of them here. Um, they are little plastic points, little yellow plastic points, uh, that we raise up our cabinets on our table with. And they are such a time saver in that we can and see over here up under this glass one uh, we can raise them up off the table and it helps to paint around the edges but it also is great because we can flip the cabinets while they are still damp on one side to be able to paint the other side without having to wait them to wait uh, for them to completely dry which is a huge time saver for us and when you're doing three or four coats um, of paint on the cabinets um, you know, waiting for paint to dry can be, <laughs> take forever. So, um, that really is a great time saver. We can paint one side and just let it dry a little bit. These are just going to dry to the touch. And as you can see, I can just flip it over here. Get them in the little grooves. And then paint the other side. And the other side isn't even completely dry. I didn't have to wait, you know, a couple hours for that side to dry before I can paint that side. So that is a huge time saver for us. Um, again, those are the Painter's Pyramids. You can get them at Lowe's and Home Depot. We get ours from uh, Woodcraft, um, which sells uh, all kind of wood working supplies and everything. Um, they are awesome. I highly recommend them. If you're painting anything, really, you need to raise it up off the surface a little bit. Um, our other little thing that we use, we, our favorite brushes are, oh, let me get it in front of you, are these Wooster brushes. They have a flexible rubber handle, which is great when you're painting a whole lot to be able to grip, let me get that, make, so you can grip the brush in a comfortable way and, and paint. Um, it really saves our hands. We were finding that the regular brushes were just our hands are just aching so much and these really help us just kind of grip it with a comfortable way um, while we're painting all day long. Again, these are from uh, Wooster. Um, so that is kind of a few tips for us from us um, from for painting. Hi again everybody. Um, again, we're working on this kitchen. We've got Lisa's at the house working on the boxes of the cabinets. Uh, she's almost finished there and I'm here at the shop. We bring the doors back here to the shop to work on and I'm working on the doors here today. Uh, again, we're using um, the General Finishes linen milk paint on these and then we're gonna be doing a glaze on the insets, which will be really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, anybody have any questions about the painter's points or how we do the um, paint the kitchens? Just let us know. You can always contact us too at Potentially Chic. Um, we're in Roanoke, Virginia, so we do cabinets locally here, but um, and we do share a lot on our website, um, potentiallychic.com. So that was all about how I have today, and good to see y'all. Hope to see you soon. Bye.